the moon is uh, the celestial body which is uh, the closest to the earth and uh, it's really important for preparing the long-term exploration of the solar system. All the 14 space agencies uh, which subscribe the global exploration strategy decided that the ultimate goal of the solar system exploration is humans on Mars. And to reach this goal, we need to pass through a certain number of steps. Beyond the ISS, the next step is the Moon. The Moon being uh, reachable in two, three days from the Earth allowing us to put together a lot of technologies and a lot of experiments preparing for the human exploration of the Moon and therefore as a step for the human exploration of Mars. The responsibility for the lunar lander Phase B1 is with Astrium Germany, uh, with a major participation from Kaiser Trade, Deimos and Jena Optics. The launch date for the lunar lander is uh, in 2018. This will give us just enough time to complete the development of that, assuming of course that the full approval of the mission will be given at the next Ministerial Council. The lunar lander is a small but uh, very challenging mission. Uh, the most important part of it is of course landing on the south pole of the moon which requires innovative solution concerning landing, uh, hazard avoidance, uh, navigation. This is the mission which uh, will bring about the new generation of navigation and guidance sensor, algorithm and software. Clearly what we can do on the Moon is to learn how to manage a complex system on the surface of another planet uh, and uh, on top, in order to go to Mars and to live there, we need to develop a certain number of other technologies on which we are working right now. Europe can benefit today of the expertise developed by the European Space Agency through its participation to the International Space Station and through the uh, capability we are developing with this Lunar Lander project. The payload in the moment is uh, composed of a traditional science uh, instrument for uh, planetology. Uh, there are instruments which are more oriented toward the human presence, radiation effect, dust. Human spaceflight and exploration can only be a global undertaking. Europe can play a big role in that, and this is the only way for having humanity beyond our planet.